Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. The other day I was asked a question in the comments. How do you display and show the time zone clocks in your calendar or the additional clocks or world clocks? And um, I thought this would be a good time to show you how you can display your time zone clocks in your calendar on both Windows 10 and Windows 11 in case you're unaware. Now, by default, as many of you may know, Windows 10 and Windows 11 do not show time zone or additional clocks in the calendar. It's not a default feature, but it is a very similar process to enable the feature on both operating systems. So just a quick video to show you how to do that in case you did not know. Now for Windows 10, first of all, what you need to do is you need to click on your date and time. And in the Windows 10 uh, calendar, yeah, you'll see a date and times, uh, a date and time settings. You just click on that. And for Windows 11, you right click um, on the date and time and you click on adjust date and time, which takes you directly over to the time and language date and time page. And for Windows 10 users, you'll find a link in the top right called add clocks for different time zones. That's what you want to click on for Windows 10 users. And for Windows 11, we just scroll down to the bottom of the page and we click on additional clocks which will then open up the legacy date and time additional clocks menu. Now, um, yeah, you'll see under additional clocks, the, the description reads, additional clocks can display the time in other time zones. You can view them by clicking on or hovering over the task bar clock. And if it's not enabled already, what you need to do is click on show this clock. And then yeah, you'll see a drop down menu where you have a whole lot of different time zones available. Obviously, you would need to choose the time zone relevant to the uh, actual additional clock that you want to set. And once you've chosen that time zone, you can enter the display name. I've called that Vancouver. And the same applies to the second. You only get two additional clocks, um, two extra time zone clocks in both operating systems. And for the next, you do the same. You find the time zone pertaining to the clock that you want to set and you name it. And I've called that Sydney. So um, this is obviously Vancouver in Canada and this is Sydney in Australia. And then you click on apply. OK. And now if we head back to our calendar in both operating systems at the top, you will see those additional clocks, those time zone clocks, world clocks, whatever you want to call them, are now available. And even if you hover over the date and time, the same applies. There you can see um, it's got my local time, the time in Vancouver and the time for Sydney, Australia. So that was just a quick video to show you how you can enable additional clocks in both Windows 10 and Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.